Happy New Year, dollies! My gorgeous friends, this is my last video of the year and we want to look gorgeous in our final hours of 2012. So let's get glittery, pack on our false lashes, and extra glamified. Let's begin. We want our makeup to look beautiful all through the night, so we're going to start off with Mally's Liquid Face Defender. Now we want to cover up those dark circles and blemishes. I do this before my long-lasting airbrush makeup application. I don't know about you guys, but I can be that last minute kind of person who has no time to get ready. So I'm going to use an airbrush foundation so that my skin looks flawless in no time flat. Alright, so now I'm going to use my favorite highlighter ever. It's from Luminous Air and I use it to highlight under my eyes and on top of my cheekbones. It brightens up my face, so I really like it. And next I'm going to take some tape like this and apply it to the ends of my eyes. Next step is super important. You want to pack on some translucent powder because I'm going to be applying this black shadow that has tons of fallout. So I'm going to put it um, on top of my lids and so that the powder catches it and I could just wipe it off when I'm done. As you can tell, I extended it out just a bit to make it look a little winged and a little more dramatic. And then I'm going to go in with Max Wedge and blend out the crease so that it looks nicely blended like this. And then I'm going to take a soft matte highlight to my brow bone and then immediately start to put a gloss over my black eyeliner so that my glitter can stick. And it takes a minute, but it will definitely pack on to be opaque. And you want it to look opaque with the black around it. Once you take off the tape, you notice this really nice dramatic edge, which I love. And now I'm going to take that grayish color I took from the Might The Makeup palette and just run it along the lower lash line and then put some black pencil liner. And then go in with a glitter liner and just line the inner corners and half of the bottom. I go in with a black eyeliner and line the top of the la uh, lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with the black and just deepen the crease for a more dramatic effect and kind of keep that on the crease. And actually, I'm bringing it in just a little bit. Take a fluffy, clean brush and blend out the edges. Now I'm going to take this dark gray color and put it right in the center of the crease for a nice gradient effect taking my Mali Volumizing Mascara along with some lashes. I'm going to take Max Atlantic Blue and just run it along the lower lash line. Now I'm just going to go back in with the white and go over the brow bone. I'm going to use this really cool double-ended retractable concealer brush from IT Cosmetics to touch up the areas where the tape was placed. So I'm just going to take some concealer and blend it in around the eyes. As you can see, I really love this powder since I've already hit pan on it. And I'm going to cover up and brighten the under eye area. I love this mineral powder because it has a yellow undertone and it's full coverage. Alright, it's time to skinnyfy your face. So I'm going to do this by bronzing up the cheekbone, temples, under the chin, and the jawbone area. This is really going to help you look super gorgeous in your pictures. Alright, we're going to add a really pretty glow to our face by using Mythis Hush blush and then I'm going to apply this Naked Truth from Might The Makeup. To add some dimension to my lips I'm going to be using MAC's uh, Salmon Gloss. Alright so now we're adding height to our hair. I'm going to be using this expanded dust powder that just makes your hair look so full and beautiful. So now we're glammed up and sexy. 